Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. Um, if you didn't see my community post, please check it out. It's a reminder to the ones that book me through Etsy. Remember, don't leave me hanging. I need more information from you. Check your email for a confirmation. Please make sure that you're touching base with me. Um, what else? Yeah, that's all. Okay, so don't leave me hanging. J don't just purchase and then leave me hanging. I still need. Also, just a quick reminder. I don't do anything health related. I don't believe that um, anybody can can do that or should look into that. You know, of course, we all um, we all talk about mental health, taking care of yourself, self care, stuff like that. But I don't do readings like that. I do, of course, pull self care cards and all. But anyways, let's get started. I have four options and um, you can pause it if you need more time. Again, I will delete your comments if you are not respecting my YouTube channel. Okay, if you're not respecting others either, um, I don't, it's my channel, my roles. Again, yesterday, I'm not gonna touch on it. Okay, let's get started. I <laughs> have four options. <laughs> let's see what we have first pile let's see what we have here we have unexplained events so meeting an unexpected place or when both of you were not expecting to meet is normally now soulmate meeting okay so you might be meeting someone unexpectedly you've probably been trapped in cycles but there is a big change coming so stay grounded okay so don't let nobody um throw you off if you already feel balanced or you're pretty you're getting to a point where you're feeling a lot more grounded more balanced don't let nobody come in and throw you off but there is some big changes here so try to stay grounded center centered um we have i'm going to conquer you i don't care who you're dating you are mine i'm going to be the that total package for you you will have it all with me so this person hmm they're gonna want everything with you okay so they're gonna think you're the total package you know there's always someone for somebody here but I do sense that maybe some of you have been on an ongoing cycle. So just be careful on who you meet. Um, this person is kind of... I don't like when someone is saying, you are mine. It could be... I could romanticize it. But it kind of is a little possessive. So be careful with that kind of energy. Um, let's see. What else does Spirit want you to know about your next love encounter? What else does spirit want you to know for pile one spirit guides blessings of abundance wow there's abundance coming towards you no wonder there is change coming yes 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 there's change coming there's good changes coming um let's see what we have what is this blessing all about Blessings of Abundance for Pile 1 Spirit Guides. Blessings of Abundance. Okay, so it's been a long t time coming, I feel, with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very, very slow um, stability, like coming in or somebody coming in, but it's taking a long time. Probably it could also um, be money coming in. But something that is not too quick to come in, but it's a good thing because once it comes in, it's long lasting. Okay, so it's like a for sure thing. Give me more of this Knight of Pentacles. Yep, it's a new beginning. If you are starting a new job, a new career, something creative, a new project, there is something here starting. It's going to take some time, but keep at it whatever you're working on there could be a new fire sign a new Taurus coming in that is um gonna maybe start 
a little bit more on the physical side like more passionate and then it can get it, there's possibilities of getting somewhere with it okay give me more of this yes 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 for pile one yep look at that ten of cups you might you might be feeling ooh. okay it could be a capricorn here or earth sign but i'm um, getting someone here is there is going to be emotional fulfillment but let me see what is this devil spirit guides Oh, wow. So I feel like this person you're going to have a lot of chemistry with. Like I said, a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction. You both will start something new because it is a 10. I feel like there is going to be happiness. There's going to be something that both bonds you both, like uh, really binds you to them or attracts them to you. And I feel like it can go towards something a lot more serious. Because I feel like this person is going to be obsessed with trying to win you over. Or maybe they're also very family, family oriented and they really want something with you here. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It's the end of a cycle. You will be... I'm not sure if it's somebody from the past, but I don't... This could be anybody. I'm not going to focus on that. But there is going to be some unexpected events. Somebody that you are supposed to complete another cycle with, though. With the devil, it is another cycle. Something that you both have like a soul contract together until you both learn something. Maybe even going to a next phase um, that you've never been before. Let's see. Give me more of this um, emperor. Yeah, there is something really good happening here. This person is going to want that emotional fulfillment from you. Um, be careful with also codependency too though. Okay, but I feel like you're going to find some kind of happiness, abundance, emotional fulfillment. Yeah, and we have it here. Okay, so again this reading also reminds me new level new devil okay so i don't know how that quote goes but that's how i remember it it once you reach a new level there's a new devil to uh, conquer okay so remember that so we have capricorn water fire taurus leo it could be an aries we have scorpio see unexpected it's gonna it's bound to happen okay so maybe you're breaking out of a cycle as well and you just want with emotional fulfillment something like that okay so that is what i have let's keep going number twos what do we have for number twos predictions for your next love encounter we have divine mission your union will impact the world in some large scale that will help heal many on this planet through some sort of spiritual service. You both could be in the spiritual um, community, you know. So there could be, both of you could be helping each other out to, you know, it could be anything. You both are healers or you're probably in the medical industry, the medical field, um, or anything. M massages, massage parlors, stuff like that, you know could be anything with self-care caring for others charities anything so we have um, protective this is a relationship you will feel protected and safe both of you will lo love each other immensely that you will fear losing one another wow very soon i'm going to sweep you off your feet i want to win your heart i'm going to show you that that i'm the one you should be with wow whoever's coming in we're getting good energy um could be your next of, of course you're the one that you're meant to be with okay so let's see what else does this pile need to know spirit lines 
Hidden blessings. So there could be some hidden blessings for number two spirit ends. Success. Okay. Okay. Give me more on this divine mish. I mean this hidden blessings for number twos. Okay, so it could be a fire sign or you could be a fire sign. There is some there is someone might be coming towards you, of course. Let's see. Give me more of this King of Wands. King of Wands takes action, is very it's a leader. I don't know if you've been oh wow. We have the two of cups. Someone's been thinking about you. I don't know if you know this person. I feel like you already know this person. They are, have been thinking about coming in because they still think about this um, connection with you. Okay. So let's see. Give me more on this two of cups. Wow. Yep. Look at that. It's a soulmate here. I don't know if you've been healing or they have, but... I do have a king and queen here. So you both are soulmates. Um, I feel like this person, you already know this person though. Okay, give me more of the success. Whoa. Transformation, some success that can come in and cause a big transformation in your life. Some changes, some life changes coming in that will bring in success. Yeah, there could be a Scorpio here, a fire sign, or your soulmate here. Something that has changed between you two. Somebody from the past could be too. Um, I mean, yeah, your past soulmate. Someone wants to come in, but I feel like maybe you are very focused on your own success, on your own stability. Um, security on your own finances you could be in to, you know you have your own business or something like that but I feel like someone here because we have the two of cups here one cup two cups and then this is a two of cups so someone here that feels bad for something for ending something in the past might come in but you, because they see your value they see your value in their life. So I feel like there is going to be a sense of success on your part. Because the Knight of Chalices to me is someone coming in. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Someone here is going to want to sweep you off your feet. And they're going to want to show you that they want to be with you. And you're going to feel a sense of success. But I'm not sure if you're going to take it so well. There is a soulmate here. Mm -hmm. You both have not been talking. There's been a break. Yeah, there could have been some nasty words or very... There was a lot of mind games, manipulation, a lot of ego. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So I do see Scorpio. I see Earth. I see Pisces. Um, air. Water, of course. And fire. Okay, so it doesn't even matter the signs. It's a pick a card. So let's get let's go on to the next one. Number threes. Let's see what we have for number threes. Right timing. Both of your souls have evolved and have awakened to this connection. This could last a lifetime. Your hard work is being rewarded. In sync. You just get each other. Perhaps you finish each other's sentences or know what they are thinking. This connection feels effortless. So someone here is coming in. Oh, it's been difficult seeing a future together. I'm sorry. I have to walk away. So somebody here has walked away from you, has walked away from a relationship or has stepped away. You both have not been talking. Okay. Um, or you're starting a new cycle for some of you. I'm getting to. I'm allowing the universe to show me the way. If it's meant to be, it will be. I feel like that's your 
your mindset right now um, for most of you. But it could be them as well. It could be someone that you haven't even met yet. They're just allowing things to just fall into place. So remember, it could be a prediction. Okay. Let's see. What else does Spirit want you to know? For number threes. slow and steady stop obsessing okay okay so spirit really wants you to take your time don't obsess over having a relationship or having someone you know someone there or you know get don't be in a rush to be committed trust me it's not everything um sometimes you know it's just not in the stars you know, I've learned learning astrology, learning my chart really helped me understand. So let's see. So I feel like there's there's um, time is at divine timing is at work right now. But you both are evolving. Whoever this is, your next love encounter, your next love or whoever is it could it's general. So it could be, you know, the past again. But both of you are evolving you're awakened you're awakening to this connection or yeah hmm your hard work is being rewarded so even if it is not someone from the past your hard work is going to be rewarded if you put in a lot of time and energy that's why that's why we always have to be careful on what we put out there into the universe especially online you know like it really blows my mind what your some of the comments is like don't you realize that you're just confirming it and you're putting it out there you're putting more like you're putting it on cement practically you know so um just let things go okay really remember be um a lot more aware of what you're saying what you're doing even your your um title on your what is it called on your youtube channel subscriber thingy okay if it's not your name if it's something sad change it to something a lot more um, you know brighter that brings in light okay so so this person whoever's coming in you both will be in sync with each other okay it's gonna be effortless you know going with the flow you're not gonna have that many roadblocks trust me when you're with the wrong, wrong person you have roadblocks it affects your finances it affects your job it affects everything um your own stability your own um your self-care it starts manifesting in yourself um like your health okay so let's see give me more of this slow and steady slow and steady okay with the four of pentacles maybe you're not giving a lot of energy out or you're not you're kind of blocked off right now Oof. okay so if you're you kind of are holding on to some kind of resentment anger um or hurt you're needing to let that go and it's gonna take time it's not overnight it's not over a week it takes time for a lot of people i've never heard of somebody you know healing over one week you know <laughs> you might feel better but you know but there could have been someone here here is holding on to maybe the last interaction with someone or resentment or anger somebody here so spirit is telling you to slow and steady with time you're gonna you need to let go of these emotions okay something here has probably also numbed you i'm getting so you're not very open your heart chakra is not open Hmm. okay yeah okay so you're working on yourself on your mind body and soul you're needing to slow and steady you will get your stability back and there is someone here that's gonna be in sync with you i don't feel like you know this person 
um, this person is going to want something serious with you as long as you keep working on yourself. This person is going to want to go slow, take things slow, and really in a healthy way. You know, start things in a healthy way. Okay, so start, keep yourself grounded. This person could have their own business. They could have their own life together, their own car, place everything you know a good head on their shoulders is not the it's not gender specific it's just a message that comes with it okay so what is the stop obsessing what's this stop obsessing you might risk obsessing over this or maybe you're saying well when is this gonna happen spirit is saying go out there Go out there, experience, learn, go towards your spiritual path, really learn about you, stay in, you know, live with integrity, um, learn about yourself. Maybe you're on your, your spiritual path, you know, you're learning about you. Let's see, give me more of this. Wow. Okay, yeah. There's a lot that needs to be learned and let go. I feel like maybe you're still kind of obsessing over the past of what's happened over this hurt. And you're having a hard time learning from it or letting go of this hurt. You're... Okay, this is not going to resonate with everyone. So I know what kind of comments I'm going to get. So you might be... You might have walked away, but you're still looking back. Okay, you're still, you cannot let go. There's something here that you can't let go of. Even though you might be upset, you might be hurt, but it all stems from this hurt here. If you're upset, you're still holding, hanging on to that. Okay, so some of you might not be obsessing, but you might be even spying on them still. You see, she's spying. This is my stalker card. And yes, I know that in the traditional tarot, the Hierophant doesn't mean that. But in this deck, this is someone spying on someone. Okay. For the tarot police out there, <laughs> I'm getting new ones. <laughs> new tarot police out there. See? Okay, so there is a new beginning in front of you. You're going from the two of wands to the first, to the first, to the ace of wands. Okay, so really um, get into something, transmuting that energy, transmuting that energy that hurt into something else, getting involved in a new project, in something that really ignites your soul, your passion, something that makes you. You know, bring out the creative side of yourself or something that you love. That way you get into that frequency. Okay? That's what I have here. Okay. That is... This one was a long one. Okay. Let's see. We have fire, air, Taurus, or earth. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, earth. Look what's waiting for you. And we have two aces. So there's new beginnings. The challenge is to... Um, self this self love self care do some self love self care really focus on you your mind body and soul things and there's a new beginning in front of you things will follow okay so that is what I have thank you so much for watching let's move forward Sorry, guys, I had to stop. Let's see what we have. Turning point. You're realizing there's no easy way out of this karmic love, but you're beginning to take your power back. Okay, so you you know that there's long overdue changes needed. Okay, you might be addicted to toxicity. So be careful. Maybe it's time to heal, grow, and become self-aware of the relationships that you're keeping we have let's have a date and see where it goes i like to go with the flow i've been keeping a secret from you and i'm now ready to reveal it to you so there is someone coming in okay or somebody you've known 
I feel like you've taken your power back or you've already hit a turning point where you're needing to take your power back and learn from it, heal. You're more aware of the people that you are keeping around. But there is someone here coming in. We'll look more into the secret, but it's going to vary for everyone. Um, let's see. What else does Spirit want you to know? Stop putting things off. It will come back. Okay. So I feel like if you if you know that you need to do something like heal from a situation and you're trying not to, you know, you just bypass or you're trying to just keep going or jumping into another cycle with someone else and you're not really doing the work before jumping into another relationship you know it comes back because the universe is trying to tell you you have to heal something here <laughs> you have to you have to heal yourself so it shows you the same you'll go through the same lesson over and over until it's learned okay that's with anything even with money that's what i keep telling my brothers you if you keep getting into money lessons that you need you don't learn it's gonna keep coming back okay so let's see what is this secret it's gonna like i said it's gonna be different for everyone but i'm gonna try and get something what's the secret wow so this person Wants to take you out on a date and wants to offer their love. They have love for you. They want to start all over. Hmm. This could be something that turned ad addicted. Uh, turned toxic. Okay, so be careful. Give me more of this. Stop putting things off. Okay, so somebody here doesn't want to talk to the other person. Mm. Or somebody's been learning or needing to... Let me see. Give me more of this name of swords. I feel like it's them. They're putting things... Yeah, they're the ones that are looking for you. Wow. I feel like you're working on something or, or you're needing to... You, some of you are studying something and you're putting you're prote procrastinating something that's going to bring in money stability security for you there could be something coming in big money long lasting in regards to love i feel like there is a new beginning here with someone that does want something long lasting you've probably been avoiding talking to this person though that's what i'm seeing here um why because for the tarot police out there i know that's not traditional tarot m meanings but this is someone's wanting to talk to this person and this rabbit is looking for her so that's what i'm getting with this someone wants to talk to you about a new beginning about having a date and go with the flow of things starting things over in love for others of you i do feel that you're studying something don't put things off there's there's something right now for some of you and your astrology astrology chart that you're supposed to be working on don't waste this this time like because it could bring in rewards for you maybe you're not wanting to deal with love too for some of you and maybe it's in the stars maybe you're needing to start healing from whatever's happened or keep with your healing keep going with your healing if you have taken your power back because you're going to be rewarded for for it there's a new cycle a lot more st stability coming in for you let's see what is this it will come back or they will come back <laughs> if that's what you're worried about yeah somebody here is coming back um give me more of this four of wands Someone here, ooh, that came out on the pre-shuffle. 
Okay, so these two came out when I first when I was pre-shuffling before the um, the pick a card reading. Anyways, so there is someone here coming in. They feel they want to come in and they've been really regretful, remorseful because they've turned their back away from love. Maybe they were a closed book here. They weren't really expressive, but now they do want to come back and express their love to you okay the king of chalices here they have closed books it's like they're learning how to express their love or they want to open up i feel because they feel remorseful here give me more of this four of wands and this might make you happy or because four of wands is celebration is something serious the knee the king of cups is someone that reassures you yeah this person wants to apologize spend time with you okay wants to take you out on a date but you might see them as a player as that toxic one so you don't know if you if you're gonna want this but they're gonna come back it's really up to you of course but this person wants to really start all over in love but like I said, use your intuition if this is them, okay? You know there needs to be some change here and it can't go back to how it used to be, okay? See, it caused a lot of burden. But they want to mend the situation between you two. Again, it's really up to you. Um, we have fire, we have Sag, we have Scorpio, air, earth, Gemini, water. There's new beginnings, really good beginnings here. Okay, so that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back later. Take care of you. Mm, bye.